Saturday morning, time to talk technology on the Experts Program with our tech expert, Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group. Luis, welcome in on a beautiful Saturday morning in May. Another gorgeous day. Yes, it's uh, we're having this warm uh, spell. It's been uh, fun for the last couple of days, and I look forward to a nice weekend. I just want to check the, the high today is supposed to be 68 degrees. So that's it's still going to be pretty, though. Yep, and 66 tomorrow and sunny, so it's just practically perfect for us. But um, For Mother's Day. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So tomorrow for Mother's Day, 66 and sunny. So happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Exactly. Good weather for an outdoor barbecue to celebrate mom. California retail theft rings are making millions, allegedly just selling stolen goods on Amazon. And let me preface it with this. We hear about these organized theft rings, like a group of young men with big bags. They go into like an Apple store or they go into a sunglass hut or something like that or various stores, and they just clean out the shelves and throw stuff, and then they abscond with all that. And they've done it to drug stores like CVS and Walgreens, and all sorts of retailers are hit by this organized retail theft. And that's disgusting in and of itself. But then the next thing that we have to ask is, well, what are they doing with all this stuff? Because this isn't one person stealing one pair of sunglasses that they're going to wear. These guys are stealing dozens, even hundreds of these items. And as it turns out, what we're learning is that a lot of this stuff is being sold through Amazon or eBay and other online sellers. Yep. And it's not just, we tend to think of this as happening in Oakland or San Francisco or LA, but just last month it happened uh, here in Salinas when a couple of folks went into the Sunglass Hut located over at the Northridge Mall and cleaned out loaded bags and cleaned out the cases and stole over $40,000 worth of oh. sunglasses. So this is a real problem. And, and it's being in a way enabled by the fact that these folks then turn around and then set up the shops on e-commerce sites on Amazon and sell those goods at deeply discounted rates because their cost of acquisition was zero. Those of us that are looking for deals on Amazon are only continuing to power the, the problem by looking and saying, oh, well, this is a really good deal on this pair of sunglasses. I'm just going to do that instead of buying it from, let's say, the official shop for that particular manufacturer. And I think it's some, it's time that we all started taking a little bit more responsibility for what we do when we go online and start looking for deals when we do shopping. And typically the stuff that's hot merchandise is going to be priced significantly less than the retail price. Yep. And, and not only that, a lot of times these shops will set up themselves up as Amazon Prime providing, you know, next day delivery and all this other, you know, prime benefits because it really doesn't cost them anything. You know, typically when you're Amazon Prime store, you give back a bigger kickback to Amazon so that they can enable the uh, delivery. But when your cost of goods is zero, you don't care how much it costs to get that prime label because we all are fooled that somehow if it's, you know, Amazon Prime, it must be approved or somehow vetted by Amazon, but that's not necessarily the case. Right. They really don't do too much vetting to that kind of thing. So, so what should somebody use to indicate to themselves that maybe that they would be on the cusp of purchasing hot merchandise? Well, first and foremost, like you mentioned, if it is a really, really steeply discounted product and it's not being sold by an actual name brand store, like sometimes let's say you're buying a pair of Alakai shoes and you go to the Alakai online store or you go into Alakai's store on Amazon, well, you're going to be getting the right, the official product. But then you see those same shoes by some third party seller offering 50% or even more off the cost, then chances are that that either that product is a knockoff, or more than likely, it was supplied by some of these rings, these theft rings. This is big business. This is millions of dollars that folks are making on this. And some folks have gone to jail. There's stories out of LA of a woman that was caught a few years ago, and she went to jail. And there's others out there that are being tracked down. But there's a lot of folks that are doing this. And you just need to be aware that if it's the deal sounds too good to be true, it's probably either a knockoff or something that was stolen and put on uh, on Amazon to try to get you to buy it. Right. And and here's the other thing to consider as well, is that you could purchase stolen merchandise. And let's say that this group gets busted by the cops and say they have a database of customers that have purchased these items. And then the police can track back to the customers and their addresses. You could get a knock on your door with the police saying, you know, with a warrant saying, we want to search your home and we want the stolen items. You know, those items you purchased were stolen. The retailer wants them back. So now you've paid 
money and you've lost what you bought. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, if you are a victim of something like this, then report it to the authorities. Let them know that these there's a site out there that's selling goods and even report them to Amazon. Because like you pointed out, Amazon's not really doing a bang up job of trying to clamp down on these uh, these folks. In fact, many folks in the, the uh, first responders world are, are looking at Amazon and asking them to do more, you know, including various and sundry DAs across the country. But Amazon is kind of dragging their feet and not really doing much about it. So it's up to us to police uh, ourselves. Exactly. So that's an important thing. And remember, we always talk about this, that if it seems too good to be true, it is. And there's no free lunch. So Lewis and I have talked about, and, and these wouldn't be, in one example that I'll give, I'll go back to that example of the generators that are discounted, portable generators that are discounted at ridiculous prices. And so as an example, these Honda generators, the EU2000i, that would sell for like $1,000 at the store and somebody's offering them online for $59. Well, they don't have stolen ones to sell. They don't have anything to sell. And they're just going to steal your money. They're just going to get your $59 because if you take a look at, say, the physical size of the unit, what it weighs and its size, you can't even ship one of those for $59. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) I mean, and sometimes I just don't know. I mean, the thing here it is, dry weight is 46 pounds. You cannot ship a 46 pound item for even 59 bucks. So when somebody looks at an ad like this online, engage your brain and realize that it's just someone who wants your your 60 bucks and you're never going to see them again. If on the other hand, it's Ray-Ban glasses at 25% of the regular retail price or 50%, there's no way they can be sold that cheaply for any retailer other than someone who has stolen goods. So don't be an enabler. Be responsible and shop at the at the uh, the official stores. And if you find some of these deals out there, warn your friends about them because nothing good is going to come of it. Exactly. That's Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, joining us today online, AlvarezTG.com. At AlvarezTG is the X handle. And Luis, the toll-free number for that I-team. Give us a call at 866-78-I-TEAM. That's 866-784-8326. And Luis, coming up on Monday, looking ahead to our Monday segment at 8.30 in the morning is when we start. Apple has a new product. Why don't you uh, give us yeah. a, just a thumbnail on it? Yeah, it's been a while, but Apple just released two brand new iPads that uh, are available, and uh, they have some really interesting new features and souped-up processors, so tune in to learn more. All righty. Thank you so much, Lewis, and a very happy weekend to you and Ronnie, and wish her a happy Mother's Day. I will. Take care, my friend.